From there, we flew to the edge of the sea ice near Cape Royds Adelie Penguin Colony, the southernmost penguin breeding site in the world. After days of seeing icy, dry landscapes, we found the ocean to be teeming with life. Cape colony is 15 miles north of McMurdo Station on Ross Island. Scientists are studying how sea ice changes are affecting Adelie penguin habitat. My name is Jean Pennycook. I'm from Fresno, California, and I work for Fresno Unified School District while I'm there. But while I'm here, I do penguin education outreach. What we do with our lifestyles in North America do affect what happens down here in Antarctica, and we need to be very gentle with our global footprint because it does matter. At the edge of the colony lies Ernest Shackleton's hut, which he and his team constructed during their exploration 100 years ago. Everything inside has been sitting undisturbed since then. Clothing, cooking utensils, even the newspaper is still intact. From there, it was back to McMurdo for one more day. This is the last afternoon here. It's actually our last hour on the Antarctic continent. And it's been an amazing trip. We have learned about some of the most important science in the world. And um, it's really, it's, it's a hard, it's hard to describe what this place does to you. <laughs> we saw one more little visitor. And from there, it was back on the C-17 to Christchurch. I was fortunate enough to have three days to thaw out New Zealand before heading back to the States. What a difference it was from Antarctica. After that, well, you know the story. Christchurch to Auckland, Auckland to LA, and LA back to DC, to the snowiest winter ever recorded. What a winter it's been. Oh.